Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with the Custom Comfy Crochet and today we're going to learn how to make these really cute and easy Tunisian bow ties or bows, whatever you want to use them for. Um, they're just really cute, really easy, um, make a great applique, anything you want to do with them, okay? So with these, the bigger the hook you use, the bigger bow you're going to end up with. Um, so like for instance, for this one, I use a lightweight yarn, but I use like a five millimeter hook for this. Um, then I use like a 3.5 for these. Um, and this one, I think I used a four millimeter hook or 4.5. So you see, it just makes them bigger or smaller, whichever you use. Now, I do like to use a lighter weight yarn for these. I think it makes it easier. And I think using a smaller hook makes it easier. I really like to give y'all tips when you're making these because a lot of times if you just sit down with a, a bulky weight yarn and do this, it may not turn out the way you want it to or may not be as easy as you want it to. So I'm just telling you the tips that work for me, but of course you can use any yarn and any hook that you wish to, okay? So let's get into the tutorial. So as I said for this, I am using a lightweight three yarn um, and I am using a smaller hook than what it calls for. I'm using a 3.5, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is make a magic circle. If you don't know how to do any of the stuff that we're doing in this video, I have a beginner video below that can help with this. But this is considered beginner because it is beginner to Mijian crochet and because I'm going to go slow with it, okay? So we're going to make this magic circle and then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five, okay? Then what I like to do, instead of working in these bumps in the back, which you can do if you want, I like to just work around the chain. I think it makes it easier. So I'm just gonna take my hook and work around this chain, pull up a loop, and then I'm gonna go through this loop only. And then I'm gonna do that again. And again. And again. And one more time. And the goal is to have six, six loops on our hook. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to go into our magic circle and pull up a loop. And then we're going to go through the first loop only. Then we have seven loops on our hook. Then we're gonna yarn over and go through two, yarn over, 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 go through two. And this time I really want you to make this last stitch especially loose because we're gonna be working into these top bumps. And when we create these top bumps with our hook, we wanna make sure that they're loose enough to work into. So again, just going in very loosely, you may even wanna hold it with your thumb and you see right there, we created a bump. If you don't do that last one loose, then it's gonna be hard to work into. And that's also why I'm using a small hook. So now we're going to be working into these small bumps right here on the top. If you wanna turn your work to the side, it may be easier to see, but you don't wanna forget this first one right here. A lot of times if we do this last stitch too quickly, then it can hide this little bump right here. So now what we're going to do, we've got one loop on our hook. We're gonna go through this little bump right here, pull up a loop and through the next one, pull up a loop. So now we have three loops on our hook. And again, now we have four. And again, now we have five. And again, now we have six. Then we're gonna be working into the magic circle again. Go through your magic circle, pull up, go through one loop. Now you have seven on your hook. Go through two, 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 and especially make this last one loose. Make all of your stitches loose, but not too loose, especially this last one. Hold it with your thumb, and you see that little bump right there? Work right into that. And again, pull up. We've got two on our hook now because that first one counts as one. Then pull up again, that's three. And again, four, and again, five. And now we have six loops on our hook. 
Then we go into the middle of our magic circle, pull up a loop, and go through that loop once, okay? Then we have seven loops, go through two, 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 and go through two. And then work into these bumps again at the top. We need to do five rows and we have three, so we need to do two more. So go through this first little bump right there, pull up a loop, and again, and again, and again, and again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back into our magic circle again, pull up a loop, go through one, then go through two, 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 go through two and then go through two. And again, find that first little bump right there, pull up, pull up another loop, and again, and again, and again. We have six loops on our hook. Now we need to go back into the magic circle, pull up a loop, go through that loop, then you have seven on your hook. Go through two, 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 and go through two. So now we have one, two, three, four, five rows. That's what we need. And now we're gonna go into these top loops right here, and we're just simply going to do a slip stitch. So right here, one, two, three, four, and five. And the reason why we only have five is because we worked through our first loop. Then we go back into the magic circle and work a slip stitch. So six, six slip stitches in total. And now we're going to mirror just what we just did on the other side now. We finished that part of our bow. And so now we're going to chain five, two, not using your magic circle. And now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to work around this chain, pull up your loop, go through just one loop, pull up, go again, and again. Do this five times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then go through your loop, pull up, or your magic circle. Go through the first, you have seven loops on your hook. Go through two, 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 and go through two. And then go to these top bumps and pull up. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. But then counting our first loop, we have six. Work back into your magic circle. Pull through, then go through two, go through two, go through two, and go through two, go through two, go through two. And then you will repeat again, working in these top bumps. Okay, and then continuing to work in the top of our bumps here. We should have six at the end and then go through your magic circle, pull up one, go through a loop, then go through two, 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 and go through two. And then again, working in these top loops, and then back into our magic circle again. 
go through one, go through two, 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 go through two. And then we're at our last one. We've got five rows. So now we need to do slip stitches across the top. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And then you need to work one back into your magic circle. Okay, and now you can cut off, leave a good bit. You really need to leave a good bit at the beginning and the end to wrap your bow. I forgot to tell you that, but in the beginning when you start your magic circle, just leave a long tail. Then you're gonna pull out and tighten, and then you can tighten the middle of this of your magic circle and it'll bring the bow together. So let's pull tight. And as you can see, when we pulled tight, it pulled it all. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take these two strands that are hanging and you're going to wrap them around your bow like this. You can do it as many times as you want to or as many times as you can, depending upon how much you have. I didn't leave a lot on that first one, so I'm just gonna do it right there. And then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to thread both of these into my darning needle. So I want them to be pretty even so it's easy to thread on. So I'm gonna cut that off right there. I'm gonna grab my big darning needle and I'm gonna go through with both of those just like this. Okay. And then I'm gonna kind of pull on that to get it tightened it exactly where I want it to be. You might, might need to pull a little bit there. I think I can go over it one more time. And then I'm going to go around the back and I'm going to go under all of this, just like that, to kind of hold it into place. And then I'm going to start working these in. Remember, yours should be longer. But I'm only going to work into the back of my project so that these uh, work-ins don't come through the middle, you know, to the front and mess up anything, okay? So again, three times is the charm. So I'm just going to work in three times. Now, if you're going to be sewing this on something, then you want to really just leave it after you do this part right here so that you can sew it onto your project or you can hot glue it or fabric, fabric glue it. Okay, so now I've worked that in and I can cut off and voila, you have a beautiful Tunisian bow. And just to show you, I have some little cat burritos that I have been making and trying to sell on Etsy. And you can put these right here at the little ear and make a beautiful little bow. You can also use them if I wanted to right here on the neck and make a bow tie. You can do anything you want with these, they're great. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. If you don't wanna ask below in the YouTube comments section, then you can find me, I have a Gmail, I have a Facebook and Instagram, and I have some great little TikTok videos. So go find me on all those places as well. I really appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you soon, guys. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.